Did you know that the spirit realm predates human existence? That in the beginning, creation process included void, darkness, waters, form, and the deep. That the divine spirit used all these to create plants, animals, and humanity. Did you know that Olodumare, the supreme being, created the universe and humanity? A process handed down to Obatala and concluded by Obdudua when they came the first time in spirit form. Ileife, the ancient Yoruba Empire, is located in the southwestern part of Nigeria in Africa, the epicenter of the earth. Ileife, the holy city, the home of divinities and mysterious spirits, the source of all oceans and the gateway to heaven. The oldest palm tree in the world is in Okiagbun Lugun Quarters in Ileife, the home of Ifa. Human migration started from Ileife with the creation of empires by the children of Odudua, namely Oyo, Edo, Ilarogun, Owu, Ketu, Sabe, Oko. Did you know? that the divine spirit originated from the epicenter and moved to the east, molded human forms and created the Garden of Eden. And then, human spirits moved back to the epicenter. Ileife, the land of expansion where Plagier existed and the earth was in one shape and a single structure. At Platesa, the continent split in fragments and human language differed. Africa, the mother continent, remained solid, unbroken and devoid of natural disaster. The wealth of the world is concentrated at the epicenter and the center is the heritage of the whole black nation. Did you know that on the African continent, slavery became instrument for human migration? especially in Western Central Africa. North Africa was conquered by Jihad and Islamization, while South Africa was enveloped in apathy. The colonial masters also fragmented West Coast into Francophone and Anglophone territories. Although we had ancient dialects, we were still one from a common heritage and shared a common source from the epicenter. Migration also occurred from Ifewara, an offshoot of Ileife, to Badagri, to the rest of West Africa. Natives of Berefu are direct descendants from Ileife. Badagri became a staging point for the dispersion of blacks to the rest of the world, and specifically Berefu, where the point of no return is today a tourist destination. Elmina Castle in Ghana, which is an area partly inhabited by Yoruba, was another major takeoff point of slaves to the diaspora. But that day today still houses the slave market and the instruments of bondage used by the slave masters. Did you know that from Berefu, millions of Yorubas were dispatched to Cuba, to Haiti, to America, to Australia, to Brazil, to Argentina, to Puerto Rico, to Jamaica, to Mexico, to Venezuela, to Trinidad and Tobago, to Asia, to Antarctica, on top of the globe. The industrialization and development of all these places were done on the backs and sweat of black souls, uprooted from Africa. Did you know that Ileife is the city of 201 gods that form the spiritual canopy upon which generations of Yoruba prosper and multiply. The embodied power of divination, war, rainmaking, farming, procreation, and so on. The Orishas take various forms. Orumila exudes wisdom, while Ogun personifies the sanctity of iron and Olipun is the goddess of the oceans and seas. 
Ifa Olukun Soro Dayo. Ifa is Yoruba's greatest spiritual gift to mankind. It is the god of divination that foretells the destiny of men and nations. Contemporary thoughts liking the divination system of 16 octaves and mathematical probabilities to the binary system which is the basis of computer technology. Is it a coincidence that in logarithm there are 256 logs and in Ifa there are 16 okwele, each having 16 odu, all totaling 256. Is that a coincidence? The binary system uses intricate arrangements of zero, which is in Arkin to Oduifa's system. The concave or smooth sides of Opele knots is represented as F. The concave side is two strokes, one in binary, and the convex side is a stroke, zero in binary. Olupu, regarded as the goddess of the oceans and the seas, was one of the 400 deities sent by Oludumari to occupy the progenesis esoteric world. She lived both spiritually and physically as the wife of Odudua during Odudua's second coming, Ife Oyelago. Did you know? that Ileife was already a settlement of substantial size between the 12th and the 14th century. It is a fountain of ancient naturalistic bronze, stone and terracotta sculptures, which reached their peak of artistic expression between 1200 AD and 1400 AD. In the period around 13,000 CE, the artist at Ife developed a refined and naturalistic sculpture tradition of terracotta, stone and copper, alloy and bronze, many of which were created under patronage of King Obalufo the Second. Ancient Ife is famous for its glass beads which has been found as far away as Mali, Mauritania and Ghana. The most iconic Ife art form is the Olokun head, which is an ancient artifact dug out in 19th century but disappeared into the European hands. It is today replicated in all art forms all over the world. Did you know that the Imperial Majesty and the spiritual head of the Yoruba nation is the Onirisha, a descendant and successor of Odudua. Odudua was the first Onirisha, the throne he ascended when he came back the second time to the earth in human form. Today in Ileife, when light first illuminated the earth, the 51st Onirisha sits on the throne.